Look to the back off tables. Listen in quietly. It's all good. All right, sixth period. Don't we love this? Um, what I want you to do while I'm just getting out your homework packets, packet four, how exciting, um, is have a chat to the person next to you. Listening? Not just yet. We're just going to do a very quick revision activity. I'm just going to check how you go with Kepler's laws. So I want you to explain Kepler's three laws to your neighbour, okay? So there, there are three pictures there to help you along. All right, so one person can have a go at explaining. The other person is going to have a go at listening. If you're in a group of three, you can band together as three, okay? If you feel more confident, you can be the one who's doing that. Can you pop your bags down and can you put the food away? So you'll be finished very soon. You'll get to eat there. No, no, no. I want to explain all three of the laws. So you guys can do it together? Alright, I'll do the second one. The first time, the period of the yeah. cycle yeah. 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 and the length of the major axis. No, no, what does that mean? It's not oh, What's the relationship? It's basically, it says... <laughs> So what do we reckon? This is another homework packet. Another homework packet on your lesson. And then we got the assignment. I'm explaining. Okay, you've got two minutes left. You guys don't have to do this. I'm going to show you quickly, okay? So basically, this is the three. We've got the first one. Take planets or satellites, take orbits, take orbits, um, yeah. um, yeah. essential yeah. body, yeah. so they do that around two high points, okay? So here, the sun, this is Earth, okay? So it's actually a, like a stretched out circle, okay? So there's actually no one that's like a little black. Okay, alright, how do we go? Third law, okay, we'll quickly go through that. So, can I get everyone's attention back this way? So it looks like we've got three tables that are kind of on board with that. We've just done a quick a quick recap of Kepler's three laws over here. Um, first law, really straightforward. Uh, Steph and Cordelia, did you have an idea of what the first law was? Yeah, they move in elliptical orbit with like sun at one focus, so instead of having focus in the centre, they're like two, and the sun is one. Okay, Tyler, is that what you were saying yeah. before? I heard you say that, yeah? Well, I'm not sure yeah, that. you got but it right. That's awesome. Okay, um, second law, we're going to go to the table at the back here. Uh, can you explain this one to us, Jackson? So, they got the same areas, so therefore they will go around this, like, the same amount of time on the same area. So, can you explain to me then why, if you've got a comet with a very, very, like, stretched out, a very... Um, eccentric orbit, yep. so it's very stretched out. Why yep. does it only spend a few months around the sun and like lots of time off in deep space? Because the um, space, but... it's closer, so it's gravitational pull is like faster. So it'll go around really fast and then slow down and then yeah. slow again. And we're gonna link that into energy soon today, okay? So hopefully mm. we get to that today. Third law, are you guys, do you think you're ready to explain that one or is that just too confusing yet? Oh yeah. Well, you gonna have a go at it? Oh, yeah. So, yeah? So if I was to draw this up, can you remind me? It's a really terrible orbit, sorry. So it looks like it's a pen. Yeah, every, it does a bit with eyes, I agree. Mm, every satellite within a group of orbits travels at the same constant. So yeah, so you've got this thing called like K, yep. My K, lines. and it's dependent on its right major and minor axis. So which axis does it depend on? Is it the major or the minor? The major. Major, so we're going to call that distance R, semi-major. And there's something else that relates to that as well. What was that? The minor. The period. The period. Okay, and by what do we mean by period, guys, over here? Time. The time for what? An orbit. <laughs> to do one orbit? Excellent. So how long it takes to do that one orbit is T, and we get this relationship, yeah? So for any planet going around the sun, if we think about its semi-major axis and we choose that, and we divide it by the square of a, the time it takes to go around. So for Earth, that would be 365 days, converted into seconds. Uh, it's going to be the same for us as it is for uh, Mercury, as it is for Jupiter, as it is for Pluto. Yeah? And that's the same with the satellites around Earth. We can do the same thing. Okay. So your packet threes are due today. I know that you have a lot of assessments at the moment, but you need to be keeping up to date with your homework. I'll come around and get those later on in the lesson. I'm also expecting your reviews, your reviews of the of 
number two if you haven't given that to me already. Remember, that's an essential part of your learning, okay? You don't just do something and finish it. You do it, you get feedback, and then what do you do next? Do it again. Do it again. You, you, yeah, you address the things that you're having trouble with. So on Google Classrooms, I put a document up um, saying, I think it was called, um, Failure is an Essential Prerequisite for Success, okay? You've wow. got to, it's true, you've got to be at that edge, at that edge where you're making mistakes, yeah? If you're not making mistakes, you're in that comfort zone where you're not going to be learning anything too. So if you're making mistakes, you're finding things hard in these, that's where you want to be, but you've got to push yourself and you've got to keep going with them, all right?